So let me just tell you how it is. When you lose money on something, you typically have a very bad feeling about it. See Alpha Investments, Rudy Chan, and look at his feelings about Hasbro stock. It's very clear to me he is quite invested in that stock because out of his most recent videos, many of them are about Hasbro the company, not necessarily just Magic the Gathering. And he always has the thumbnail of the Hasbro stock going down. Or in, in the most recent case, the CFO quitting Hasbro. So when you have a vested interest in something and the price is declining, the positivity will be gone and it will be replaced by negativity. That is human life, that is everybody. So if you invested in a card game and things were going really well, you were, making, you were supposedly making money on paper and then suddenly the card game collapses, you are not going to really feel that great. I mean, this is common sense, but this is where I'm coming from. Oh, um, where to begin? I'm way down in magic cards because I've lost a lot of money. Um, the amount of money I've lost is in the six figures easily for magic. Definitely six figures for Pokemon. Pokemon's a different scenario though. Pokemon, the reason I've lost so much money is I've opened so many booster packs. I will do a live stream where I show you off my Pokemon collection. For $150,000, it's not actually not that impressive at all. Um, because I just open packs all the time. And it doesn't matter, it could be a $20 evolution pack at the time, I'm gonna open it. Uh, I buy packs and I buy packs to open for Pokemon. I don't really sit on them. And same thing for Magic, I open packs. It's something I enjoy doing and it is a gamble and it's a gamble that you will always lose. If, a distrib if anybody can open packs and make money, they would be no packs sealed yet. There would be no reason to put seal packs because you're making infinite money opening packs after you know labor after shipping after uh, fees I'm, I'm, I'm talking about that right so one of my ways that i have lost a lot of money is i open hundreds of packs a day and it is a addiction it is absolutely a addiction it's something that loses me money because i don't think i ever break even and when it's a gambler, it's it's like, oh, well, the next pack has to have something better. The next pack has something, and the next pack, it's, it's um, I'm, I'm basically telling you that this is gambling. That when you buy a pack, when there's a pack, whether it's Pokemon, Magic, Panini, and the idea is there is this really great chase card on the pack, but the probability is kind of low, you know, it's, it's Espeon is one out of every 1,400 packs. Uh, and you hit it, you feel good. And then you feel you feel good, you continue on. You feel bad, hey, I'm, I owe a pack. And you can actually see, I have probably 400, 500 packs underneath me right now, um, cause like it just gets in Terry. And same thing with Fire Emblem friend, uh, Cypher. Um, it, it, it's the same thing with any pack opening in Yasha. Now I'm wealthy enough that it doesn't destroy my life, but I is a addiction. Uh, I prior to opening packs and having my store back and having distributed contracts, which you know in my mind, oh hey, packs are two ten. I, I might as well open them, uh, which is definitely not a good mindset. It is a very bad mindset to have when you own a store. You know, hey, I'm just going to open all my packs. Um, I, uh, I my my distributor showed me a thousand uh, Pokemon packs. It's all gone, and my distributor showed it to me on. I didn't sell a single one. I think November, no, October 31st. Today is like November 12th. So in 12 days, I opened over a thousand Pokemon packs. Because I was like, oh, who? And it wasn't always just like unsealed. Like some of them were 250. I wanted to get the coin and the promo. It's just dumb as hell, okay? Uh, it's a problem. It is a problem. And when I'm opening packs, it's like 6 a.m., 5 a.m., my most recent. Um, videos, it will kind of tell you into the gambler mentality. And I have that same problem with a gacha games, right? It used to be Fire Emblem Heroes where I would spend godly sums of money to get the units I wanted. And then you had to get not one unit, you got to get 10 of them. Oh, I think in Fire Emblem Heroes, I think you got to get 11. I don't remember what it was. I think maybe 10. Um, and then in Fake Grand Order, you need to get five of them. So Fake Grand Order, you have a 0.7% chance of getting the unit you want. 0.7 and now you need to roll to get five of them 
to NP five year unit. And I four count. You can kind of do the math and see how out of control that can become sometimes if there's a unit that I really, really want. And uh, there's no difference. Like I view opening packs as the same. It is a addiction. It's gambling. It is the definition of, it's like a scratch off ticket. You open it, most of the scratch off tickets, you didn't win. You got some cardboard. <laughs> you know, I got, well, a scratch off ticket too. You got cardboard. If you want to collect that stuff, okay. You know, and then I got a bolt rest and I'm just trying, I'm looking for one or two hits and it's hard. It is hard getting these hits. Like I don't even, I can't even like understand because I look at the probabilities, right? I look at the problem. I'm like, why am I not hitting this card? I I've opened enough packs. Like God, you know, I've opened enough packs. And you might hit like other rare cards, but they're not worth much because they're like a really bad, like Machamp, Cleaver, like super rares or uh, the uh, secret rares. And it's just like, oh my God, where are the good cards? It's an addiction. Um, opening packs, even at my cost, will lose you money no matter what you're opening. It doesn't even matter if the set is a really good set. You will lose money. And my main takeaway is it is gambling. It is 100% gambling and it gets, you know, when you get a great hit, there's no better feeling when you get that SBON that you've been looking for the alternative or SBON that took who knows how many hundreds of packs of Fusion Strike or the RCS or you know, even just some cool cards that you're like, oh, cool. I got the SBON uh, Trainer Gallery one, SBON V. These products are meant for you to chase. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's football, national treasures at the high end. The way I justify the product is I don't do box breaks anymore. So like for me, opening 500 packs of Pokemon is a thousand dollars and some change. That to me is what I would spend box breaking in a weekend. So it, it would be really easy for me to join a back, uh, backyard breaks box opening and many of their breaks are anywhere between 500 to 1,000, or even uh, a Nebula. So one single card, which uh, you know a Nebula is $1,800. It's a repack. It's a repack, typically of a graded card, but I've seen non-graded cards as well come out from it. And the average, in my opinion, the average comp is around $500, $600. If you're lucky, you're break even. That's how I justify it. I justify and say, okay, well, I opened 500 packs a day, that's equal to like one flame light or flame uh, regular or one uh, gem diamond. And there are plenty of people and whatnot. And I use whatnot as kind of a, a gambling crutch. Oh, there's plenty of more degen gamblers than I am. That's kind of my same mentality for gotcha games. Oh, there's a, a dude who has to MP5 every servant. I just want to MP5 this one servant. You know, and that's how I justify it. Uh, it's wrong, it's illogical, but most gamblers are not applying logic when they gamble. I just wanted to share this story to see if it helps anyone. Um, I'm definitely a big D-Gen gambler. Uh, I've been since like, you know, I obviously, the reason I had my home paid off and my car paid off and everything paid off and no student loan, obviously no student loan debts, obviously no debts of any type. And I have a big, I have a escrow account. I can't even touch my employee payrolls is behind the account that I can only, I have to physically call somebody and I, I don't really work during office hours, like during normal people hours. I work late in the night. So because of that, it's just hard for me to even get money out of that account once I put it in. And I made it because I knew it would be hard for me to take from the employee account, right? The payroll, the ADP account. Um, I have certain, uh, understanding I am a gambler and I'm a degen gambler, I have put certain very structured settings in place to make sure that I will be okay regardless of how much money. I've lost tens of thousands playing poker before in one night. Uh, I was down $30,000. I eventually went back up and only lost, I think 1375 or something, 13,750. And, uh, you know, that was a wild ride. I mean, when you're down 30,000, you, yeah, yeah, you know, that's, I mean, you know, that's bad. <laughs> you know, you're, you know, that's so bad. Uh, luckily I did win some more and, you know, I continue to play. Um, and you can see a lot of the gambling policy. So I'm not, I'm being 100% transparent with you. I just love opening packs, man. I mean, I, the amount of packs I open in any year, I mean, you guys have seen it in your packs. I'm trying to tell you, I, like, 
Meta X, which is a game that's dead, I opened 2,500 and 1,500 starter. I did that in one night. For Inuyasha, I think I've probably opened over 5,000 packs. For it, uh, for uh, Fire Emblem Hero, I'm definitely over 400 boxes now. I'm at the point where Amazon is either losing my things intentionally via FedEx, or they're just banned, they straight up ban me from buying any Fire Emblem products online. I'm not kidding, you can actually get banned from buying a product. I didn't even know that. But like at cer a certain point when you buy so much of it, they, they put you on the list and then you can no longer buy the product for I think a year because then I researched it. I was like, what? When you make a lot of money, you know, and you really are, I don't even, it's not even being a collector at this point in time. It's just being, I will show you my Pokemon collection for what I put into it. Since it was all just high end packs and even low end packs now that are $2.10 for me. Yeah, I didn't get anything close out of uh, what I put into it. Uh, and that should be a warning. I hopefully this will be a warning to you guys. And also if you're like a D-Gen gambler like me, we need to seek help. You know, I have, you know, thought help for it. Gamblers Anonymous and so on. It's nothing to be ashamed about. It's just what it is, you know. Um, just make sure that your home is paid for. You don't have a mortgage. You don't have, like if this is who you are, then make sure that you have certain structured things in place, like my ADP account. I just, it, for me, person, for me, I mean, again, if you are a normal person, you probably can take money out, whatever. But for me, it's just like such a hassle. I don't want to talk to somebody to take no money out. I'm not going to do it. It's not like something I look forward to doing, right? Because then they're going to ask me these questions and then again, yeah, I don't want to deal with it. So when I put money in for the year, we have over a year of uh, employee money and salaries into it. It's because I know that it's hard for me to take it out, if not near impossible for me personally to take it out of that account. And that way all the employees are safe. And even if I lose a lot of money playing poker, it doesn't affect them. And I have that in place because I know if I didn't have it, I might think, oh man, I'm down 50,000. <laughs> Let me take the employee, let me take the ADP and payroll and see if I can win. Uh, it's the same, uh, same as I open packs. Like you would be surprised how many packs I open a year. It's uh, astronomical. Because not only am I opening Pokemon, Magic, and I started opening Yu-Gi-Oh now. I don't even know what I'm looking at most of the times. So I'm just like, oh, I'm trying to find that like collector rare or something. And I don't know what anything else is worth, but I know what the collector rare looks like because that's the only one I looked at TCG player. So the same with Pokemon. For the most part, I don't know what anything is worth. I just know like, hey, this is the one or two most expensive cards in the set. I'm looking for the Gengar, I'm looking for the Espeon. Okay, let's open a thousand Fusion Strike and see what happens. I hope this video helps some people. It's not a publicly talked about issue a lot because I think people are embarrassed to talk about it. I think it's okay. My attitude has always been, if I love to do something like Google Ads, I can spend 18 hours a day for the next 10 years doing it and getting really good at it. So it's been a very benef big benefit in my life. Same with law. I used to lock myself in. So during, um, when I, I was on two law journals, which is insane. Even being on one law journal is a lot of work. And the way I got my work done was I would just go to the basement of my law library and I would say, hey, I'm not leaving here. I have snacks. I have enough snacks for the next four days. I, you know, it's just snack. It's like just like crappy snacks, right? Peanuts and like, you know, high protein. You know, I'm going to do exercises in the booth and stuff. And, and I, I mean, I'm not kidding. That's how I get shit done. I just lock myself in a room and, and then when it's done, I leave. And it, it works for me. It's always worked for me. You know, I, I don't know how else to like be. If I like something, I will really dedicate everything I have to that something. But that can be very destructive to everything else, right? And that's kind of why I have dogs. The dogs, you know, it's almost like live streaming. At some point in time, they're, you know, whining and they're barking. And at some point in time, you have to address that you have dogs. And then you go for a walk, you hang out with your dogs, you relax. Otherwise, I would live stream for like 18 hours. Or, or it's the same as a live streamer. People are addicted. In our society, you're probably addicted to something. I don't know what it is. It could be drugs, it could be gambling, it could be opening packs. I don't know what it is. But I have that type of personality. And to do so, I understand that there are certain bad things that come along with it. And if I can mitigate, 
uh, the bad things, I can really take advantage of the good things, right? I get a lot done. I get more done in probably a day than most Google Ads specialists in a month. I'm not even kidding. How would you know? Uh, I, I know. <laughs> Bye, guys.